A fantasy draft with no restrictions. However, I must trade the whole team before or at the trade deadline. So essentially after the trade deadline, we got to have a full new roster than what we started with. Now, which team will we be partaking in said challenge with? The LA Kings. Time to set up all the defaults. Owner mode, new. No. Player morale, CPU trades, also no. Kind of, hmm. We're going to be trading for this one. So you know what? I'll allow the computers to trade as well. Because normally in a fantasy draft, the whole point is you draft the team. And we don't normally trade. In fact, almost never. But I feel like it'd be wrong to turn that off in this one. So yeah, CPU trades. Giver. Salary cap on. Fantasy draft on. I almost forgot that one. And you know which one I didn't almost forget? It is you, Jabroni. No. Not today. Or ever. Well, the odd time. We shall be drafting at pick number five. I just had to think of a number quick. I wasn't sure how fast this was going to load up. 22. Eh, who would have trade value? Quinn Hughes would have a lot of trade value. 90 overall. We also got Robertson up here, who is 91 and 23 years of age. Very solid. Let's go with Jason at 91 overall. Hopefully, we can get another decent player for him. But it's going to be hard to find another 90 plus player. Even getting above like 88, I feel like, is going to be tough. So really, my goal here is just to draft a high value team that fits within the salary cap. And I also want to have some wiggle room with the salary cap. So I want to be kind of responsible because otherwise the trades are going to be a nightmare. And I don't want that. Rupe hands 3.1, 89 overall. Yep. It's upsetting that Patrice retired. What a good career he had. In fact, what a Hall of Fame career he had. But I'm going with Troy Terry. We could probably take Malkin. Yeah, we've had a couple responsible cap picks already. So that fits in. Goalies don't really matter. Because we have to trade for new ones anyway. But you know what? Should I go with... I'm going to go with Swayman. Making less than a mil? The draft part of this video is going to be incredibly fast. Let's go with Chandler. Just because I feel like he'll be easier to move than Chris Letang. But if Letang's still there, I'm grabbing him. He's not. Dmitry Orlov will be incredibly easy to move with that salary. Let's grab Pavelski. He's got some abilities. He is 38, so his trade value might be fairly low. But I think... We'll be able to make something. We have to make something work, actually. Let's go with Michael Bunting at 83 overall. I believe his contract is not that anymore. Maybe it is. Ryan Hartman, 1.7. I am giving myself as much cap room as I can. Come to think of it, positions don't really matter either. I mean, I guess it depends on when I plan on completing the trades because some of them I definitely want to go later on at the deadline because people aren't just throwing... 90 overall players on the block. Sometimes never, but definitely not before the deadline. Trevor Moore should be another player that is relatively easy to move. We got a lot of right wingers here. Maybe I should take some defensemen. All right, fine. Mayfield making 1.4. That should work. Mason Marchment, left winger. His contract is kind of big. At 82 overall, actually, you know what? That could be tough to move. So never mind. McNabb should work. I don't have to trade everybody, technically. I just have to have a full new roster. So I could trade one of our players for multiple others. And then just take them out and go about it that way. Ian Cole, 82 overall. Yeah, let's try to get some defensemen, like I said. And I think I'm going to take our backup goalie right now as well. Because we do have to have a team to put out on the ice. We're not trading right off the bat. Maybe we will, but kind of doubt it. Reimer, tempting. But what about Caden Primo? He's low starter. That's not great. Wall is medium starter. 79 and 24. So I feel like his trade value might be a little bit higher. Luke Shen shouldn't be too hard to move. So let's go ahead and take him. We might end up having too much cap space. Nick Jensen at 2.5 will be joining our roster. And we only have two picks left. Okay, I got to find some big ones here. Henrik, it's going to be very hard to make a trade. But we could try to package them in somewhere. There you go. And we could retain a lot of cap. And last but not least, to bring us to the 20 mil mark. I think I did this too well. It's going to adjust the contracts, but going with Kyle Lock Pozo. That's our team. Let's go. I guess what I really should have said is that is our team for now. But still allow us to proceed. Ooh, we. We get a plus five on the first line. A dash one on the fourth line. But that could be easily adjusted. Okay, defensively, you're kidding. 
How does that happen? In net, we've got Swayman backed up by Wall. So I'm going to simulate a month and then I'm going to try to make some moves because by that time, maybe some teams will have their trade block updated. But for now, I'm going to leave it. Actually, before I do that real quick, I'm going to take some screenshots of the lines so that I know who we got to get rid of. And now it is time to simulate a little bit. Hopefully this team does well. I feel like we do have a good roster right now, but... That's gonna have to change. We currently sit at 11, five and two, but all good things must come to an end. Let's sim up to this Arizona game and then I will try to complete some trades because there's no way I'm moving everybody at the deadline. 14, seven and four. We are currently second in the division. Let's see who's on the block. Robertson also has 29 points in 25 games. So he is killing it at the moment. Okay, so no. Tyler Sagan, at least kind of worth our time. Making 9.8, but, you know, we did leave a lot of cap space for that reason. Yeah, we could take both of them on and be chillin'. They want Dmitry Orlov. They also want McNabb. It seems like they are set on defensemen, which is not good. So technically the comment was I had to trade everybody on our starting roster. Not that we had to have a full new team, which I guess kind of goes hand in hand, but... Yeah, basically we gotta have a full new roster and I have to trade everybody that we drafted. The first 20 picks anyway, because I'm not counting the computer ones. Chandler Stevenson and Kyle Locke Pozo. Why do I feel like they are going to be coming out like gangbusters here? 85, 82, 86, 82. We're getting another centerman back. I don't like this, but I feel like we got to go with it. Because I just got to make some trades. So Stevenson and Locke Pozo, will they be leaving us? Yes, they will. Okay, and it was just a fair trade, apparently. They put them right back up on the block. Pat Maroon here as well. I mean, is there anyone we could get? Mm, maybe. Kind of feel like we're getting finessed here again, but maybe I'm just tripping. 82 and 82 for 82 and... That was weird. 81. And I made sure that... Oh no, we actually have two lefties here. And so do they. Okay. Okay. So we could get rid of Cole and McNabb. Proposed trade. Boom. Ooh, now we're talking. An 86 overall player in Eckholm. Let's give it a shot. The only reason this might work is because he's making 1.2, which is absolutely crazy. I still feel like it won't, but it's worth a try. No. The finessing begins, but I gotta make trades here. So Bjorkstrand and Orlov for Eckholm and Cates. Well, th uh, this might not even go through. Proposed trade. No, I sense an absolute blockbuster coming up right here. Oh, no way. See, we're already running into cap issues. There is absolutely no way this trade goes through. Henrik, Terry, Orlov, Bjorkstrand, and Pavelski for Miller, Shen, Krug, Wenberg, and Rust. No, I'll try it though. I'm just thinking like because of this, should we get rid of someone like Malkin or Hints to make this go through? So that way we're getting a lot of good players back. Proposed trade. Hello? And again, a bunch of the players go right back up, but I don't care. All I care about is we made a trade. We could possibly get rid of two more players here. There's no way this goes through. You didn't ever say, though, that I can't sweeten it up a little bit. So, let's try with this guy. Still works. Sagan and Jensen propose trade. There we go. And I am just now realizing that we didn't draft Sagan. I just acquired him. That's unfortunate. But we did move one piece anyway. Cody CC's on the block. We could try trading Mayfield one for one. Let's see. No. I think I know the answer to this one, but I'm still going to try it. Mayfield, Bunting, and Hartman for Dowd, Uyghur, and Goudreau. Propose the trade? No. What if I make it a second pick? Try that out. Still no. I'll throw in this Pickering lad. Just to get rid of these three. Will it go... <laughs> Nice. Good job. Unfortunately, no. Still no dice. I really want a trade here to work. This would be the finesse of a century. And it also is certainly not going through. But I do really want to make something work here. If I have to bring in one of the higher end players, maybe I will. Proposed trade. Rejected. I'm gonna add a pick. And then we might just have to move on. Draft picks. I'll give you a third. Propose. Oh, so all we have to trade now is Malkin, Robertson, Hints, and more. Defensively, we got to move Luke Shen and then our goalies. 
We're killing it. Ranta, 84 overall. Okay, that is a good goalie to note. Cam Talbot is also an option. You know what? Call me crazy. I'm going to move everyone else at the deadline. So let's see what our updated team looks like. Still got the plus five on the first line with JT Miller. Move Wenberg down. Boom. There goes the dash one. So we got to move more. Hintz, Malkin, and Robertson. Defensively, we still have some pretty good chemistry, and the only defender we got to get rid of now is Luke Shen, and both the attendees got to go. So let's get up to the deadline and make some magic happen. Oh no, we're losing a lot of games all of a sudden. That's a big win. Another loss to the Bruins. Okay, 17 and 11. Oh, did I ruin the team? I think the lads just had to get used to each other because we're starting to win again. So that's nice. Unfortunately, for everyone on this roster, we still got a lot of shaking up to do. Keep it under 20. Keep it under 20, yes! We have 19 losses going into the deadline. We are third in the division. Please, we need to make some trades here. I'm gonna list us as a buyer, and we are going to enter. Oh, this is not good. This is not good at all. People are making trades. We gotta get going here. Oh, we are so losing this trade. No, I can't do it. Now I feel like it won't go through because we're winning. Barely, but a little bit. We added Carter Verhage, so we're upgrading from Moore to Verhage, but we're downgrading a little bit from Robertson to Svech. Let's give it a go. Proposed trade? Boom. Oh, okay, chill. There is no need for that attitude, okay? Don't rub it in. I gotta make trades here, I'm under pressure. It's gonna be tough to move Malkin. There's also a lot of issues with our cap next season, apparently. What if I take on Zegris? Okay, the value is not even- And we're still above the cap next year, are you kidding me? I'm panicking, I know this is not a good trade, but I'm gonna try Malkin and Shen for our boy Matthias, as well as Jenner. We're downgrading, but it is what it is. And then I gotta get another defenseman as well, but at least he'll be traded. The value looks kind of even. Let's go? Alright. Now we just have to trade Hints, which is also going to be tough because he's only making 3.1. We could pick up a defenseman. Moritz Sider. That won't go through one for one. I mean, I'll try it. Just trying to think. Who's our... We got another good defenseman, but what side are they? I guess I could just look. So Weger's right-handed, but he's listed as a left defenseman. One for one, Hints for Moritz. No. What if I throw in Pickering? Okay. Try that on for size. Still no. Okay. I just have to find a trade, because if we run out of time, that is a whole issue of its own. I basically just lose out on a player. They want hints, they don't want to get rid of Nylander, but the value is relatively fair. It won't go through one for one, but we'll try it. Okay. Not sufficient at all, you say. However, do you want that same Pickering guy everybody else seems to want? Of course you don't. Jonathan Huberdeau? I'm just throwing anything and everything right now, hoping something sticks. There we go. And last but not least, we've got Jeremy Swayman, who is making under a million and nobody wants him. Logan Thompson, I'm gonna try to sweeten it a little bit, see if we can make this go through. I can't get rid of Lindgren. That would be a tragedy of its own. Scroll down a little bit here, of course. They don't want the Pickering guy. Draft picks? Try to give you a fourth for next year? Propose? No. Philip Gustafson, one for one. It's allowed. They both have medium starter. They're both 85 overall. They're both- what's the difference between these two? Other than their save percentage. <laughs> Alright, well, let's give it a shot. No. They also want this Pickering guy, but now I feel like it is heavy in the other directions. You know what? Let's try to find someone else that wants him, and maybe we can get a decent goalie here. So I'm in for Samsonov, one for one was rejected. I think I'm just going to throw Pickering in there and get fleeced because we got to make this work. And we're running out of time. So there he is. Proposed trade. Yeah, I know. Trade deadline's at 12. So we actually just got there because look how fast the clock's going. I don't know if it slows down when you go into the trade screen. But anyway, mission success. Let's go see how much worse our team is. <laughs> Jonathan Taze and Dumba headed to Chicago. They took Taves back in exchange for Grands Grieg. And a second. We do still have a plus five, which is phenomenal. However, down here is a nightmare. So we got to try and clean this up somehow. Uh, this is not good, guys. Call me insane. I'm doing it. Getting the plus one on this line. Verhage can get a zero there. And maybe we could try to give him something to work with on that line. Ooh, that doesn't work. No. All right. Sorry, Verhage. My sincerest apologies, sir. Hopefully we still have defensive chemistry. 
Uh, it's not great. Ooh, I'm tempted. And I did not trade for you. Who did I trade for? Scratched. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yep, I forgot we needed another defenseman. Fun times. It doesn't really matter. Technically, the challenge was still a success because I traded everybody that was on our roster, but still. Yeah, let's run with this. So we got a plus five, a plus one, and then two zeros. Defensively, zero plus two, zero. And in net, we have Sam Sonov backed up by Lindgren. So both of our goalies actually went up one overall. 907. It's not terrible. Let's get this show on the road. Post-trade deadline with a brand new team. This could only go well, right? We are reaching the one hour mark of this recording. This is why I don't like doing the trade ones. They take so long and this room gets hot. It is turning into a sauna. Imagine if we miss out on playoffs. Oh wait, did we already clinch? Oh, I guess we did. And we are second, okay, third in the division. Going up and down here. Nice. All right, we are in. We finished third in the division with 100 points and 42 Ws on the season. The Ducks go on to win the President's Trophy. They had Barkov, Stone, and Skinner. I have follow Giroux and Rickard Rackle. I know, that's not, okay, relax. Markstrom and Nett, Miro and Ethan Bear. They have a good team, they do. Rangers finish second. They've got Uri Slavkovsky playing with Sid the Kid and Fiala. And then Pointer on the second line. Vili Huso as their goalie. Yeah, they have a good team as well. Carolina got in at the 19th spot. So that's a thing. But I've seen worse. San Jose, last in the league. They had Shane Wright with Kyle Connor and Brady Kachuk. It's a good first line. Jonathan Tay is playing with Formington and Mangiapane. Yeah, this team's not great. Okay, I will say that. Most of the times I look at the last place team and I'm like, I don't get it. They shouldn't have finished last. This one, a little bit understandable. Senators, second last. They had Norris playing with Radish and Ehlers. Patches, Zaka, Bailey. Sorokin in net though. They're deep. Oh, okay, well, yeah. Not surprised. Svechnikov had 72 points. He was our team leader. Hubert only had 56. What are you doing, John? Brock Nelson had 53. 53 from JT Miller. How many did he get for us? That's what I want to know. 41 points in 57 games. Not ideal. Wait. Was he one of the earlier acquisitions? He must have been. Hubert had 14 in 19 for us, which is pretty decent. Svech ended up with 10 points in 19. Oh, no. Sam Sonoff had a 917. So he did good for us. Lindgren, can't say the same. He only played four games to be fair, but in 892, you are cut. Tori Krug had 46 points in 79 games played. And for us, he played 57. Yeah, that's good. Mackenzie Weger also did okay for us. Vili Huso led the league, 42 wins and a 920 save percentage. Markstrom had a 910 and 41 Ws. Any crazy save percentages here? 922 from VTech. Defensively, Adam Fox, 89 points. Have yourself a year, Adam. Miro had a nice amount of points. 12 tucks as well. 22 goals for Dougie Hamilton. Your Art Ross winner. And maybe Rocket Richard winner. 58 goals, 108 points. Hattie Kane. Marner, I guess playing with Kane, had 107. Kucherov got 105. McDavo. 52 goals, 102. Let's see here. Oh, okay. So I guess they split it. Most fights goes to Felino, And then the next closest is three. Did he just fight everybody in the league once? Also had the most pims. That is not surprising. 89 March, he was second. Let's do this thing. Simulate past the first four games and see where we sit. That's a great start. Big win over the Flames. Okay. It's a close series. Will we see seven and will the pattern continue? Let's go. Nice. We didn't let them push the seventh. The mighty ducks of Anaheim. Our round two opponents. Oh no. Oh dear. Okay. Well, that's not good. Can we push one more? No, they dusted us. Let's find out who wins the Stanley Cup. Wasn't us and it was the ducks. Well, there you have it. They won the president's trophy as well, right? I feel like that's happening a lot recently. They are gonna clean up at the award ceremony, at least for team trophies. Svech had eight points, only two goals though in 11 games. Brian Rust had five goals and seven points. Okay, Krug had, okay, we got a bunch of players with six points here. So we were getting contributions from all over pretty much. Charlie Lindgren, 12 shots, 12 saves. He had a perfect save percentage, 
913 from Ilya, so that's good as well. Can't blame him. Markstrom had 16 wins, obviously. That's how much it takes to win the cup. 922 save percentage. Ottinger had a 924. Very, very impressive. Freddie up there as well. Bennington, the nervous guy. I guess he wasn't that nervous. Miro leads defenseman. 17 points in 22 games. Shea Theater had 15 in 25 games, which makes this even more impressive. However... We got two players with 11 points in 12 games. Claude Giroux going to be the Conn Smythe winner. Atta boy, Claude. Matthews had 30 points. Barbashev had 26. Raquel had 24. Bunting ended up with 23. No! Are you kidding me? I guess he went to play with Matthews. The Islanders really getting their revenge for John Tavares. You know what I mean? It's that time. Awards. And yeah, Anaheim cleans up. The Isles made it to the finals. Hatcher Kane gets the art and the heart. So they are reunited once again. Adam Fox takes home the Norris and the Lady Bang. Beniers with the Calder. I would love to see him in a Capitals jersey. Never gonna happen. As we saw, Giroux gets the Conn Smythe. Vanacek with the Vesna and the Jennings. Delzato gets the Bill Masterton. Mura with the Jack Adams. Bergy with the Selkie. Even though he retired, he's still winning it. Kane gets the Lindsay and the Rocket Richard. Talk about a season, just like Adam Fox. And your playoff tree, there you have it. So the Ducks swept the first round, completely dummied us, and then went to seven against the Wild, six in the Stanley Cup Finals. Yeah, well, I tried. It is very tough doing these kinds of videos. I know people are gonna, you could have got way better players, probably. I probably could have. If you end up trying the challenge, go ahead, let me know how yours went. Uh, if you could leave a like, that'd be fire. If you could subscribe, that'd be fire squared. And yeah, other video ideas, stuff like that. Comments down below. I will see you in the near future.